my name is Lily, aka Superwoman, and I have a YouTube channel in which I do comedic, uplifting comedy videos that I hope make people laugh. I also did this. I wrote a book. It's called How to Be a Boss. I've also had cameos in a few Hollywood movies. I'm a rapper, an occasional actress, and more than anything else, a unicorn. That's me. My book, How to Be a Boss, is a guide to not just surviving life, but conquering life. It's full of 50 chapters that are guidelines on how to be the best version of yourself. Not a boss, B-O-S-S, -S, which is just in the workplace, but a bouse, B-A-W-S-E, because you have to change the spelling, it's so much more epic. That encompasses not only professional life, but your personal life, your relationships, how you communicate, how you get hurt, and how confident you are. That's a bouse. One of the reasons I feel like this book is so important is because I feel like right now we're in this time where the millennial generation is very easily validated by double taps and retweets, and I want to bring back the art of working hard. The understanding that everything you do is a ladder and you have to climb the ladder rung by rung through hard work. Not through wishful thinking, not through hopes and dreams, but through hard work. That's what this book is about. The first tip on how to be a boss is to get uncomfortable. And that's because, let's be real, failure sucks. It feels bad, it's nerve-wracking, it doesn't feel great. But a boss knows to be successful, you have to step outside of your comfort zone. Now, I do auditions all the time, and auditions are the worst. They're horrible. They make you feel like you want to be anywhere else in the world except in that audition room. But I know if I didn't go through the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth horrible audition, I wouldn't be slightly better the sixth and seventh time. Take my YouTube career for example. My first 10 videos are horrible. They're awful. Don't even look them up. They're awkward and horrendous. But those first 10 videos were crucial for my success today, which is over 2 billion views and 11 million subscribers. Not too shabby, but I had to start from somewhere. You have to get uncomfortable and you have to be brave enough to fail because every successful person has failed multiple times before being successful. Step number two to being a boss, you have to take the stairs. What does that mean? Do exercise. No, that's not what I meant, but also that's probably important. It means that you have to take the long way to success. There are no shortcuts. I mean, of course, escalators do present themselves when it comes to success. You know, those get rich quick type schemes, those never last and they don't create a strong foundation underneath you because the escalator can go out of service at any time. The stairs will always be there and you want to take the stairs because every step will be a solid foundation below you. Take music for example. How many artists do you know that were one hit wonders? They had that song, you really, really liked it and then you never heard of them again. That's because that was an escalator. Whereas musicians that have an amazing album behind them and songs that you love and can't stop singing, that's the foundation you want. They took the stairs. Tip number three to being a boss is the understanding that not everyone hates you. And to be honest, this is a hard pill to swallow because it's so much easier to contribute our flaws to people just being mean and judgmental and nothing's wrong with me. Other people just don't understand me. But if so many people say the same thing about you, whether you're stubborn or whether you're selfish, maybe you should take a step back and really evaluate why everyone is reacting to you in the same way. Me personally, I was always told that I always had to be right. And for so many years of my life, I thought, I don't have to be right, I just am right. There's a difference. But then when people started saying it over and over again, I had to take a step back and think, maybe I do always need to be right. And only then could I honestly address the problem, when I stopped identifying it as, everyone just hates me. Tip number four to being a boss. This is the most crucial. And that's because a lot of people don't think it's important. When I talk about being a boss, people think it's about numbers and stats and money and analytics, but the most important part of being successful is being nice to people. It is important to be a kind, compassionate human, not only because in business you will likely deal with people, not robots, yet, but also because it keeps you grounded, keeps you humble, and it keeps humanity going. And if you're not a member of humanity, no other team matters. Being nice can also go a long way. I remember this one time I did this really big YouTube shoot with, involving so many people, and the next day all I did was send a thank you email. Hey, thank you to everyone on set for all of your professionalism and your skill, had a great time. The director told me that I was the only person to ever send a thank you email and they were all over the moon. A thank you email took 30 seconds, makes all the difference. Be nice to people, it matters. These were just four tips on how to be a boss, but would you look at this heavy book? It has 50. It's available in bookstores everywhere or at www.lilysingbook.com. I truly believe no matter who you are, this will inspire you to be the best version of yourself. Not by changing you, but by bringing out what you already have. Because you're a boss.